Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Vegan, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler review series, videos I've been doing for a little while now. I'll go over there, try out food and drink items. I eat stuff, I drink stuff, then, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that, I'm not going to lie, folks, when I decided I was going to review stuff from this place, I knew this item in particular was going to be one of my reviews. But we'll get to that. Folks, it's super simple format. I'm going to go over there and try out food and or drink items for you. Whilst I'm doing so, I'm going to yammer on about it for a bit. Whilst I'm doing all that, I'm inside my truck. And whilst I'm doing all that, folks, I'm wearing a super cool shirt. And folks, when I wear super cool shirts, I always like to highlight the super cool shirt. What super cool shirt am I wearing today, folks? Well, that happens to be, boom, my the one-armed swordsman, or, well, sorry, one-armed boxer shirt starring Jimmy Wang Yu, uh, who... Sadly, he passed away just a few years ago, but he was a bona fide Hong Kong martial arts movie star for a long time. This guy predated Bruce Lee. When This is a real, well, I mean, it's a story that's been told secondhand, so who knows, but it's been told multiple times that when Bruce Lee went over to Hong Kong, you know, and started doing his film career over there, he went and he saw one of Jimmy Wang Yu's movies and was like, that's the guy I'm going to be. You know, I'm going to take on that guy. And I think it's fair to say that Bruce Lee, in the grander scheme of things, definitely managed to take the ball and run with it in a way that Jimmy Wang Yu, you know, wasn't quite able to. But he still was an incredible bona fide star. You know, again, for years and years and years, look up his filmography. This is, I think, one of his best films. But the sequel, Master of Flying Guillotine, is excellent as well. I love his stuff. But anyway... What am I trying to for you today, folks? What are we doing here? Why is it like a super specific item? Well, this is a trio of videos that I've done from a place called Boom! New China Mandarin Restaurant. It's an awesome little local Chinese takeout place. Well, with it being a local spot, by the way, it's going to, all these reviews are going to end up on my Eating Out Illinois playlist, which is a playlist for just local spots. You know, just highlight them a little bit because I love them. And, well, hopefully love them. This particular item is one of, for me, one of their signature items. And I knew that I wanted to do this because at the time I'm doing this today, it's Mother's Day. And my mom unfortunately passed away last year in 2023. Uh, the last day that we were together was Mother's Day. And when we went over there and wanted to get a meal together, she wasn't, you know, she was originally gonna cook and make a whole thing out of it, cause mom and stuff. And instead we decided to go for some Chinese takeout because she just wasn't feeling quite up to it. So it felt appropriate, you know, like I wanted to, you know, kind of full circle. So what is it that I'm reviewing, folks? It happens to be, boom, it's this bulging container of amazement. This is from New China. This is their Mexican fried rice. That's what it is. Um, what is Mexican fried rice? It consists of, it's a combination of chicken, shrimp, and jalapenos. I... I think this is like the first thing I ever ordered from them. I saw it on their menu and I was like, yes! So, let's open it up. Oh, and it's so large. It's so large. <laughs> oh man, let's, uh, let's try to make this. <laughs> it's ridiculous and I love it. It looks like this. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> yeah, man, let's just get into it. The other ones I used uh, chopsticks for, but uh, not for the rice. That won't go well for me. So let's go ahead, let's get into it. Let's get one of those peppers right off the fucking bat, man. Oh, yeah. It's got that heat, man. I love that. And... I love that they used jalapenos, too, because in the age we live in, we've really gone pepper crazy. Everything has to be hotter and hotter and hotter. When I was a kid, jalapenos were pretty much the top, you know, as far as I knew. Eventually, habaneros kind of became more commonplace, and then obviously, you know, you got ghost peppers and pepper and the whole thing, but I love jalapeno. Like, it's, for me, it's like pretty much the perfect heat level. You know, gives you a nice kick to the back of your throat, but it's not obnoxious. It's not like overtaking the whole experience. And then on top of that, 
you know, I like the flavor of it. It's just got a nice kind of, you know, pepper flavor. That's really good. And then we're going to try to not get this all over ourselves. Let's get some chicken. 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 Chicken's really tasty. It's nice, it's tender. Still has a nice chicken flavor. This is a good time. We even got a shrimp. Shrimp. Smaller shrimps, but you know, they do actually, I believe, I believe New China does, but I could be wrong. It could be one of the other takeout places I go to sometimes. Uh, I think they have jumbo shrimp. Let me check on the thing. Because I think they have jumbo shrimp tried or shrimp shrimp fried rice. Ugh. You must go down now. Because I have to prove a weird point. Um Yep, they have the jumbo shrimp fried rice. So if you want bigger shrimp too. Um bu -bu -bu -bu. shrimp is nice, tastes like a shrimp. Nice and easy to eat. It's not chewy. Doesn't have like a funky seafood smell or anything. And the rice is really good, man. It's just, I mean, it's obviously, you know, not the most delicate of rice. And I mentioned this. I did a review of uh, some Thai fried rice um, from a place called Nathan Noodles, another local spot. And I mentioned in that, like, their rice was a little bit more delicate. And I kind of compared it against, um, you know, more China, again, like Chinese takeout style rice. And there is so much to be said for both. You know, there is so much to be said for like a nice delicate rice. Kind of just, you know, lets the flavors do their thing. With this, it's not delicate. It is slapping you in the face with flavor. And sometimes that is exactly what you want. And that's exactly what I'm getting. Like, this is just some tasty ass fried rice. And whoever at New China decided to go over there and add in the jalapenos, I cannot thank you enough. Because I love a specialty fried rice, and I don't think enough places do it. This is one of my favorite specialty fried rices. Like, I think it's so good. It's just, you know, you've got the heat from the jalapenos. It Not only is it giving an extra heat, extra kick... It is, you know, kind of cutting through it a little bit, giving it, you know, a little bit of a freshness. And then the proteins are really well prepared. It's just, it's fun and ridiculous, and I love it. Uh, but two questions have to be asked. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes and yes. Like, clearly. For me, this is one of my favorite dishes from New China. It is a standout dish. I've, I've never seen any other place have this. I'm sure there's probably some variations other places, but at least the places I've been, I've never had a place had Mexican fried rice. And again, it's just, it's simple, because fundamentally it's just, you know, chicken and shrimp fried rice, but then, hey, let's just add in some jalapenos, give it a little extra something. And for me, as somebody who, you know, I enjoy some heat in my food, it just elevates the whole thing. You know, it just makes it... I'm not going to say fundamentally better or anything, you know, because I like classic style fried rice as well. But it just, it gives it something to really stand out and, again, just be something really kind of a little extra special. And for me, like, I know I'm going to get this again. If I'm recommending it to other people, it's one of those things where it's not going to be for everybody. You know, obviously, if you want classic Chinese fried rice, you know, this is similar, but it obviously has its unique element to it. If you're not into heat, you know, it's not crazy hot or anything, but like you get a fair amount of uh, jalapeno peppers in there. So, you know, you're going to be getting some heat. It's not obnoxious or anything, but not going to be for everybody. And I think it's just one of those things like it's it's so self-explanatory, you know, from the description and what it's trying to represent. If that sounds appealing to you, it will be appealing to you because it's just good, honest American style Chinese takeout just with an awesome, you know, Mexican-inspired twist that I personally think is awesome. I just, I love it so much. But anyway, five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, spend this rest of your year. Folks, go over there, have yourselves a truly 
fusion-tastic rest of your life because we've got the Asian fusion, the Mexican fusion, you know, and then it's all brought together in, you know, sort of, again, that American-style Chinese takeout. It's just, what a time to be alive. All I'm saying. But now, if we could go over there and get, like, better health care and things like that, that would be even better, but that's a whole other discussion. For now, I'll take the super awesome combo rice. Final two things. Number one, try to bring some positivity into the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But what you do if can't do all the time, I know I can't do all the time. Here's what you're going to do, folks. You're gonna try not to be an asshole. Folks, now it's the easiest thing in the world to not be an asshole. Trust me. I know it. I live it. I'm out there every day with you in it. Life can be stressful and frustrating and just bullshit sometimes, folks. And when we find ourselves in situations where we have to deal with said bullshit, it's important that we go over there whenever possible. Take a step back, try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives, hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Now, I'm not going to be releasing this on Mother's Day. I might release it tomorrow, but I'm not going to be releasing these videos, this, you know, this trilogy of videos on Mother's Day. But I did want to end on this note, you know, whether it's you know, Mother's Day, Father's Day, birthdays, what have you, you know, go over there, treat the people you love around you right. I cannot emphasize that enough. You know, I wish that, you know, my mom and I had a very interesting relationship. You know, we had lots of ups and downs and things about each other that kind of drove us nuts. But at the same time, you know, I mean, I wish so much, you know, that I could have another Mother's Day with her. You know, and unfortunately, that's just not something I get to have. But, you know, if for you, again, and it doesn't have to be just Mother's Day, you know, whatever it is, just celebrate the people in your life. Make sure you know, make sure they know that you love them and that you're important to them and that they're important to you. That's what I meant to say. You, you get what I'm saying. So, anyway, bye.